Right, hello everybody, and welcome back to the episode of Fallout 4 Survival Mode. So we're picking up here where we left off in the last episode here in Sanctuary. We've got a couple of quests to do. Um, we jump into our uh, Pip-Boy here. We've got the Jewel of the Commonwealth, which is our main storyline, which we're basically on the lookout for our son, Sean, who was kidnapped at the very start of the game. And we need to go find to go to Diamond City, which is a bit of a trek from here, actually, because we are in Survival Mode, so we can't fast travel. So everything we do has to kind of kind of be organic. But once we leave places, we're not really going to be coming back too often now. My main priority at the moment is to set up a bit of a sanctuary here, or it's just a bit of a settlement here at Sanctuary. Now, you can't, typically when you play it in um, the original, yeah, the base game, Sanctuary would be, you'd build up Sanctuary to be your main settlement, and then you would sort of, um, you just, wherever you went, you just fast travel back to Sanctuary, so that'd be your base, and you could store everything here. But we can't do that in this game, we can, but we'd have to walk, as you get further and further into games, the other side of the map. I mean, if we, if we look at no, if we look at the map here, as we get further and further down, um, that's a long, it's a lot of walking, it's a long way. So we can do it, but it takes, I mean, in, in the interest of a walkthrough or a playthrough, it's a bit of a bit of a pain. So what we're going to do is kind of, we will build up Sanctuary, we'll explore around this area and kind of turn this into a reasonably large um, settlement. Principally so we can set up supply lines, which we can take, you know, because what we're going to do probably, um, we've got this red rock truck stop here. There's going to be, there's other settlements around the place, but there's one down here I want to use called Start Driving. That's kind of, whenever I play Survivor, that's kind of the base one I use. Um, and that'll be, because that, that'll cover you for a large chunk of the game before you start moving on to other settlements further afield. But before we can do that, what we have to do is set up a sanctuary. And now, first things first, we have to speak to Preston Garvey, who's around here somewhere. Oh, we have a map market, and we'll find him in a minute. And he will give us a... Where the hell is he? He will give us some... He will ask you to speak to one of the settlers. No, that's a defence... Just a defence number. Let's get into normal mode. It's easier. Right, hello. Hey, you ready to help out? Uh, yes. I've had word from a settlement asking for help. Right. They're still hoping there are Miniman out there. Somewhere. The only chance to start rebuilding the Miniman is to show people that they can count on us when they need us. Right. Trouble is, I've got my hands full here. Do you think you could go help out the settlement? What kind of help? What kind of help do they need? Sounded like the usual. Raiders. You'll have to get all the details when you talk to them. Sure. Yeah. I'd be glad to help. That's fantastic. The men and men could use more people like you. By the way, if you want to help out around here at all, talk to Sturgis. I'm sure he'd be glad for all the help he can get. Okay, right. So, we're level 5. We've actually got some perk points to use. I forgot about that, actually. We we were level 4, now we're level 5. Let's go find Sturgis first. Let's actually know. Let's jump back to our... So, we talk to Sellers of 10 Point Bluff. We'll activate that in a moment. Miscellaneous. Talk to Sturgis. So, we'll do this first. Instantly, where is 10 Point Bluff? Oh, okay, we need to go that way anyway. That's actually pretty good. So what we'll do before we do that is um, let me think about this. Go back here. We'll speak to Sturgis first. Yeah, that should give us a new. Yeah, he should be around here. Now, because what we've got to do essentially is build up this cylinder a bit first. He's going to ask you to build basic supplies, build some beds, build some build a water pump, and other things like that. Now, typically in the base game, you you build like mega mega. Water pumps, that'd be kind of how you supply you with um, purified water that you can sell in shops for money, but we're not going to be doing that. Um, we're just going to get it set up <clears throat> so we can start building this this uh, little one up. So, hello, Sturgis. Hey, Sturgis. You willing to do some work? Uh, what do you need? What kind of help do you need? Well, for starters, we could use some real beds. We've been sleeping on the ground for too long. Uh, sure. I'd be glad to help. Okay. Good deal. Just make sure we can sleep with a roof over our heads. Okay. These old houses still look solid enough to do the trick. There's a workbench over there. Right, so... What's our first thing you want to do? Is build, build shelter beds. So that's easy enough. Now what you can do, if you jump into our workshop here, we should have enough materials to build beds, to be fair. But what I'm going to do is actually start scrapping some houses, I think before we move forward so we'll start junking some stuff just to give us some materials to use so everything you you kind of um scrap by that becomes as you can see that 12 wood and what have we got here this will be more wood was it but you get raw materials from everything that you uh yeah we want that 
We want that. We want that. Let's the car. You know what? Let's let's stay close to home. So we want to. We'll leave the leave the lamp. Take this down. Now I'm not going to go build this up on camera. I'm just going to do the bits, the quest um, relevant things, and then we're going to be forward to Ten Pines Bluff. I think we've got to do some junky. We've got to we've got to get some levels in us. Equip, get our weapons equipped, um, upgraded, and let's start putting the build together before we move on. Really, <coughs> but we can, yep, yeah, grab a few things first. So. Um, what I'll probably do in between videos is actually, um, what's this? What's that barbarian? No, oh, we need to read that, don't we? Um, yeah. Yeah, what I'll probably do is go around and scrap everything in between videos. That's what I normally do, just to get, to give us some raw materials. Because basically, once we set up supply lines between settlements, and supply lines, if you don't know, are, um, basically it's like a runner. Like, one of these settlers will be able to supply, um, link up your settlements. And what that means is, Every settlement with access to the storage from this one. This is why we build this one up a bit. And then as we move forward, we'll keep adding to our overall supplies. Anyway, so let's build the beds. Let's build the beds in that bar. Let's stop talking. Let's get things done. So we've got one bed in here. We built one already, didn't we? So we're going to build another one. Like so. That's one. Two. So I'm, I'm, I'm at war with my controller. I need to get another one. It keeps... The left stick keeps veering to the left. Huh, <laughs> funnily. Um, funnily enough, and it's actually driving me up the bend. Um, because it might be a significant problem in combat. Uh, how many beds have we got? We've built enough beds. We'll build another couple of, Actually, no, let's scrap all this junk. Yeah, like so. Got the radios. If you want... I'm just going to scrap him then. So he's unassigned. So basically, what you mean, you can give them jobs in your settlements, like farming and whatnot, food and other things. Um, but as you kind of... Uh, where are we? Anything else I want to note in here? No. Um, but you can actually assign them tasks as in turn them into basically supply lines. Uh, but we'll do that. Yeah, we'll, I, I imagine, honestly, that'll be a few episodes away because we've got to build this one up first and do some junking. So let's... Get the scrap dog. No, seems a little bit harsh. He's a good dog, really. So we'll put a bed in here. Gosh, put a bed in here. So basically, the number of settlers you can have is kind of dictated by your charisma and um, you obviously beds available and things because you've got to work on the the well-being of your. Um, yeah, we don't need to anymore. I'll do that in between videos. I'll build this up. I, I generally quite like our. Um, Settlements to be quite funky because you, you got a lot of stuff. Well, we've got all the DLCs, so we can do all sorts of those settlements. But anyway, let's find Sturgis again. Where did he go? Was he in? He was in here, wasn't he? But he literally spoke to him, or did he? Did he fuck it off again? Oh, he's a pain in the ass. All right, let's go. All right, Sturgis. Oh, Sturgis. What is he doing over this house? What's the attraction? There's nothing here. Hey. Oh no. We'll take that. Let him talk away. We need the food. I wonder if there's anything else in here, actually. No. Let's speak to Sturgis. Hey. Sturgis. I like it. Having a place to sleep will improve everyone's spirits. Absolutely. What we need now is a reliable source of clean water. Yeah. I'm on it. I'm on it. Clean water coming up. Great. Kill. Cool. Alright, so the best place to do this actually here. Let's run. We shouldn't. Full disclosure, you shouldn't really run uh, <clears throat> when you're out in the wilderness because you can get yourself killed really quickly. Really, scrap this shit. You can get yourself killed very, very quickly, and it's kind of tragic actually how quickly that can happen. And then, this game, um, Bethesda games have always been brutal, and the Fallout games have been particularly brutal. I'm getting sidetracked scrapping shit. I shouldn't. Sorry. I do. I say sorry. I do. I do apologise. Right. Um, let's get this out of the way. So what I tend to do is put a pump down here. And there should be some stuff we can scrap. Uh, all the wood, we want everything we can. Yeah. What's this? I'll we'll just grab that. Got a workshop, yeah. Mindfulness is eating away time. Yeah, so we want to build a water pump basically here, but we'll, we'll make a bit of space. Yeah. 
in this water's monkey, isn't it? Yeah. Okay. Let's get out of here. Let's jump into resources, like so. Water. Now, we've already built a basic one at the very last episode of the episode before, but we want something a bit more industrial. Now, we don't have a lot of um, stuff for scrapping at the moment, so that is something to factor in. All right. What we're going to do is just... <coughs> it's a powered one. Can we build one of these big ones? <coughs> we don't have enough power for it. We do have enough stuff, though. That's interesting. Oh, we can't build it. We haven't we already ranked on science. Okay. In that case, we'll build the biggest that we possibly can. So we'll build a large one uh, here. Yeah. Uh, although, honestly, we probably could if we actually could make it. We've got two poke points. We could go for the biggest one available. Ah. We need a lot of power for that. A lot of power. Hmm. You know what? Should we do that? Let's exit. Let's think about this for a moment. Let's jump in. We've got to use some perk points. Um, we'll level up. Now, obviously it's survival mode, so our carry rate is reduced pretty significantly. And there are some things we need, such as gun nut. Um, uh, we need gun nut, we need lead belly. And we need, other one, we need a few things. Strong back we need to increase our overall carry rate because we don't have a lot. So let's do that first. Because next one's plus 15. And we have that plus Lone Wanderer, which means as long as we have our dog, our, we get another 50% carry weight, I think, yeah. And we take less damage. But the other thing we want is... Let's go put Pointed Science. Because it'll come in handy, because we do have the Laser Musket, which we want to use. That's kind of a major damage deal, I think, at the moment. Let's do that. Yeah. Uh, yeah. And then we can build this giant water purifier, hopefully. But, no. Do we have not? Yes, we do. Okay. Industrial water supply. We need to be mindful of the uh, ingredients we're using. Ingredients? Resources. But I kind of want to get this built. So. And now we need a. How much? We need a big power supply, don't we? Oh, shit. Have we got enough power to use it, though? Generate, uh, we don't have enough nuclear material, bugger. A windmill. <laughs> that uses a lot of aluminium though, doesn't it? Just build, uh... We'll do it this way, shouldn't we? If we pop generator here. Like so. I may, so I may well tidy all this stuff up. Let's put a couple of wire. Do it right here. That's the water, so if we... We've got power 5 and we have a shit ton of water, 43. That should keep them in good stead forever. But also, actually, it's really good because that will um, periodically fill up our storage of purified water, which we need. So we're going to try and build one of these big ones everywhere we go. Anywhere we can, basically. We, I think you have to have a source of water. Let's get out of this thing. Got food here. This is our farm, isn't it? So we're gonna need this in a minute. It's normally you could be growing well. build giant melon farms and kind of sell the um. What's he got there? Is it gourds? Yeah. You can build giant melon farms and sell the melons as well for money, but um, we can't redo all those things that you normally do because it's survival mode. And to be honest, I find it more interesting doing it this way. So let's do let's speak to Sturgis again. Hello. Hey Sturgis. Please turn around. I feel better already. Yep. Knowing we have a reliable supply of clean water, yeah, well, you know. I hope you don't mind me asking for some more help. No, it's no problem. But our food supplies are running low. Mm -hmm. uh, if we're gonna settle here, we'll need to get some crops established. Yeah. Um, what kind of crops? What kind of crops are you looking for? Uh, it doesn't much matter. Potatoes, mute fruit, corn, whatever you can get to grow. Okay. That's our food. That's our next little project. So let's. I don't know what we have available because we picked up some random seeds. 
got on the way, but I can't remember what we have on head. Resources. Food. So we haven't got any carrots. No. Let's grab the carrots. Yeah, just... We'll keep the rest. As it is, we need the wood, but not... You, you get so much wood from General Spice. We have corn. Oh, okay. You need corn. Um, hang on. Among other things to... Um, make... What am I going to say? Adhesive, but I forget what the thing is called. I'll, I'll show you in a certain moment. Um, let's jump back. So we can put the corn. Now, we've only got one for the moment, but this will obviously grow. And as we get further in... Let's put the, another couple of gourds down. Melons. We, let's plop some more melons down. Yeah, I have to have a look. I can't remember how you make this thing that I was talking about. Basically, adhesive is really important for all your gun upgrades and weapon, up, uh, weapon upgrades and armor. We've got razor grain. We can plop one of those as well. So let's do that. This is useful for one of the soups as well. Uh, what else do we have? We need taters, corn, muck fruit. Got a lot of no, 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 we haven't got a lot of food, have we? But this will have to do for the moment. So this might be as far as we can go for the time being. So if I jump into, I believe it's in the cooking section, right? If we jump to the cooking pot, like that. No, utilities, vegetable starch. So we need purified water, corn, nut fruit, and potatoes. Yeah. So we need to build. No, typically, what you do is build giant farms of these, but we're going to just build enough. To supplies with the raw materials to build from encampment to encampment. Actually, no, we need to. We got some meat, didn't we? We did. Look. Uh, let's Death ball steak. Ooh, yum. Build red roach. Yeah. Obviously, if you don't know, we are playing. Well, we know you do know we're playing survival mode. If you don't understand survival mode, so you have to have food and drink and sleep. And you have to worry about illnesses and things. You also can't fast travel and you have to... You can only save when you sleep in a bed. Which means your adventures have to be a little bit uh, restrained, if that makes sense. So, look. I want to see if we've actually got any more water before I go... Oh, yeah. The other thing we need to do is we need scrapper from the perks. Because we can... T you can sell these weapons, but they're not really worth very much. But you can... You can Strip them down to improve the base. You get the base materials, which can be better for... Oh, we've got some shit in there, haven't we? Why have I got any other stuff I can get rid of? Uh, instantly. Because I want, basically want a tidy storage so we can store our main weapons there. And not have to worry about all the other shit. Um, aid. Obviously, antibiotics are the most important thing we could possibly have. Let's put the blood back in this. We'll store that. Um, rest of this stuff we can kind of eat. We need, oh, we need the lead belly perch as well, don't we? Perk as well. Um, that don't really weigh much, though. More like chunks. Is there anything else we just, I thought we had more crap. Yeah, no. Don't matter. Okay, so let's um, speak to Sturgis again. He'll have another little job for us. Probably not. Yeah. Where is he? Sturgis. Sit still, will you, my good man? So let's go. I'll try to make myself useful. <laughs> no one wants to see a grown man feeling sorry for himself. Call me confused. I want to trade a few things. Have we finished that quest then? But I haven't got enough food. Shit. All right. Well, that's gonna have to probably where we call. Where we call this little bit of the settlement building done, I think. Because I can't. Yeah, we're going to have to do some questing. So what are we? 25 minutes bollocks. Ah, uh, okay. What we'll do then is probably do some crafting. And, um, yeah. I want to see our weapons and things. I don't know if we can actually upgrade anything, though. At this juncture. Oh, oh hang on. No, 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 no. I don't know what we can do. We need to do a bit more. There's something I want to build called a recruiting beacon, recruitment beacon, but I don't know if we have enough materials yet.
Let's have a little look. We need so we can tag search, we need crystal, okay. Let's have a look at our weapons. Uh Oh no, we need we need to gun that because we want to put actually no we can we can improve our laser rifle though no or have we not got enough laser musket I mean we've got the smart price sniper no frame receiver oh we got enough stuff to put a stock on that yet sign a stock. Yeah, that'll do. So that'll help that. Oh, what weapons? 38 weapons. Do we need to make a 38? Not a 38. Um, if we put a, a powerful receiver in there, it should be do significantly more damage. We really want... Uh, I had one... The bolt action ones are the best ones to turn into these weapons. But this will do just pick stuff off at random. Because we do have a lot of 38 ammo. Um, at least anything else we can do now. Because we just used all of our stuff, haven't we? We want... We need more screws. Let's uh, tag search. But as we get scrapper, we can break down all these other weapons and get basic items like screws and stuff like that. So, but this is an awesome weapon because the more capacitors we add onto it, the more lethal this becomes. Um, because you can get three crank, four crank, five crank, you know, and it just annihilates things and one shots them. So it's kind of you, you typically use that to. All right, I know you want food. So let's. We'll sleep for an hour, save, and then we'll um, we'll head off to Ten Pines Bluff, I think. Uh, but we probably won't. We'll get there, find out what they want, and we'll tackle the. Um. So. Yeah, sanctuary, and then we will. Um, yeah, we'll tackle what they want us to do next episode, as it varies. Uh, we're not going to take our power armor because we haven't got enough. We haven't really got. We're not swinging fusion cores, and it shouldn't be that dangerous. So we'll leave that there. What we also need to do is, before I forget, is tackle our... Oh yes, we've got Satisfax. We've got Parasite and Weakness. Takes 20% more damage. There's Pants. Okay, well... That's... I mean... I can live with that. If we take... A... Actually... Do we get any more water while I'm thinking about it? If we, if we take any more... Um... Take antibiotics. A, A, they're quite rare. We really want to save those for infections. But every time we take it, it leaves you susceptible to infection and stuff. So it's just ultimately not really worth it. But we'll leave all of our stuff here for now. Yeah. I'll just live with what we got. Because at the end of the day, 20% more damage isn't that much. Because most things will kill us in one shot anyway. That's the beauty of survival mode. It's pretty fair. We can one shot everything and they can one shot us. So it's just, just how it is. Um, let's eat some food. We won't eat any of the crap food for now. We'll eat them all in chunks. That's real food. Watch out. Hungry with still package. Okay. Good red roach. Are we not full of food yet? Probably fed, right? Look at all that junk. God damn it, that's, that's a lot of stuff. Right, so. What have we got? So we've got about 5 to 10 minutes to get to where we need to go. So let's run straight to. Yeah, in between videos, well, I won't be able to do it now, but I will sort out settlement at some point. Sanctuary, turn this into a slightly better place, but I'm not doing it. I'll do that in my own time. Yeah, I've been pressing pressing A to jump, I forget. This, the controls are different on this game. Um, let's move. So, oh, hot flowers. Hot flowers, if you don't know, are very useful um, ingredients to make psycho, which is um, increases the damage you take for a short period of time. Um, we kind of we will be using a lot of drugs in this game. 
I'm a drug addict. I, I'm definitely a drug addict when I play Fallout 4. Um, or any Fallout game, but this one in particular. So we can just run through the water, but we're probably going to avoid that and just run around the outside like so. Uh, oh, it's... Yeah. Oh, well. We'll get a bit of radiation, but... I'll live with it. Um, also, we have radiation poisoning, yes, but um, Red X is also... Red Away also leaves you open to infection and one of its that didn't really work out as well as I hoped it might whoa Did not go well. Should let the dogs alone. <laughs> um. Let's take a. In fact, health bar takes a while to recharge on Survivor Mode 2. This, we've wasted a load of bullets. That could look a lot better. I'm rusty as hell, though. I haven't played this game for a few days. There's a... Where's he going? Okay. He's run off. Okay. Right, let's... This is not going as well as I would have hoped. As well as I would have hoped. Where's dog meat? Got him, yeah. Yep, okay, cool. That could have got a bit better than I'd hoped, but uh, we're alive. The main thing is, we're alive. Okay. Now you know my dirty secret. I'm not very good at this game, apparently. Actually, dog shit. Okay. Never mind. Was there anything else here that was actually worth doing, or have I just nearly died and used all my bullets? And it's two stim packs for nothing. That's. Uh, or a stim pack. Whatever, let's go. Move. That could have gone a lot better than I would have hoped, honestly, but kill us, kill some time though, so we can get to Yeah. Scavenger. There's a hut up there, there is, isn't there? away from him. You get advantage points more accurately. Where's he gone?
We've got to get some damage on this weapon. Yeah. It's not going to work, is it? <laughs> Why isn't Dogme helping? That would be pretty good. Oh! I oh, know. <laughs> Go on, sunshine. I think we can't just deal with this cripple coming, uh, crippled limb. Well, we can. We have to take a stim pack. Yet, I know we've been part from lack of water. We haven't. We're not swimming in purified water at the moment, which is a problem. Oh, I don't want to be on this side of the rock, so do I? Because there are. It's one of these. There's a nest of mylurks, which will upset my qualm. Let's do it. No, let's not do it. Let's get around this up. Controller isn't working. Why can't I run? Okay. I really, really need to get a new controller. That is no joke. Over there, right. Got him. God, that took some doing, didn't it? Jesus Christ. Right. But look out. Study around this pipe is unknown. Take the fedora, unless you can stay. Okay. I don't think it even has any. I don't think it has anything worth using. That's the problem. Um. Take what we have. So we've got what we got here. We've got bobby pin, yes, duct tape, tough time. We need all of those things. We need some sense of snacks. Well, that was totally worth it. Totally. Let's move up to... Let's yeah, this is... Um... We didn't do so well there, did we, boys and girls, obviously. Um... Let's see some hub flowers here, I did, didn't I? I oh, know. Let's keep... Wary, be mindful, because I don't want to die at all. Honestly. Uh, we do need to check this place out as well. Now let's get activated and we'll do that on the way. There's a, a fat man here and <clears throat> some other useful things, but we'll come back to that. So we use really useful ingredients with circuitry ingredients, um materials like uh, resources like um circuitry and whatnot, but we'll come back on the way back, I think, because uh I've got some other things to do first. Why the hell? <coughs> More rats down there. Yeah. Dog meat can handle the wrong mole rats, can't he? Yeah, we. Red stag. I think we'll be able to take red stags, honestly. They can be surprisingly aggressive. Oh, there's another piece of power armor there. <gasps> you know what? We'll, we'll take that.
any power, have we? It's going to be slow. Well, I should have brought a thingamajig, shouldn't I? By thingamajig, I mean a fusion core. I think I left them all at our in um, settlement. Never mind. Is there not a thingy here? Apparently not. Okay. I thought it was a um, not weapons cache, like a what? Usually goes low. I yeah, know. How far have we got to go, and then we decide if it's actually worth doing it, or if we just run it? Yeah, no, fuck that. Okay. We'll come back and get up. We know there's a piece of power arm here now, right? Look. Yeah, so we've got it on the map. We know there's a piece of power arm, so let's just move. I haven't got time for that. Uh, we need to clear that place out as well. Not right now, obviously, but it's... This one. Really, I just want to get to a bed so we can save. That's kind of my... Ah, shit. Run. I don't want to deal with the mole rats. Or anything, actually. Okie dokie. I forget how risky this game is on survival mode. The not being able to save unless in a bed is really... Really a hindrance. You wouldn't believe how much dangerous that is. Um, especially as you progress further into the game and it gets more and more dangerous. Like, I don't even know how we're going to tackle the glowing sea. <laughs> and survival, that's going to be... Although, you do get better at the game as you go along. So there's that. Hmm. Wait, yeah, that's, that's the encampment. Sell encampment? Settlement. Uh, <clears throat> yeah, we need to move forward. Fast. They have all the potato farms. Oh, hello. Oh, no. No. Okay. The dog will take care of the rest. We will use the bed in a moment, because that's, that, that's the least we can say, but we can also... We want all the potatoes we can get. I'm not thinking about it. Yeah, okay. Hey. Go check that out. Oh, yeah. What do you want? We don't need any more trouble around Okay. Here. Uh, Minutemen? Didn't you ask the Minutemen for help? You're with the Minutemen? Mm-hmm. I didn't really think you fellas still existed. We sent word with one of them passing traders, But honestly, I never expected anything to come of it. Most people don't put much stock in the Minutemen these days. After Quincy. Bad business, that. Yeah. What's the trouble? Is there something you need my help with? Oh, yeah. I'm damn glad you're here. There's a raider gang that's been giving us trouble for weeks. Stealing food and supplies, threatening to kill us all if we don't pony up. We know where they're coming from, but we can't go up against a gang like that. I'll take care. Don't worry, I'll take care of those raiders for you. Thanks, friend. If you folks are for real this time, it'll be a welcome change for the better. Okay, so that's a Covega assembly plant, which we are not going to do. So we can't use anything here. Uh, we can use actually this a lot. We can use cooking pot. Well, once we complete the quest for them, we will be able to. Um, <clears throat> Include this encampment, uh, settlement, encampment, settlement in our try and set up supply lines and things if we need to. But I don't really want to. I just wanted the potatoes and just to get out about. We got a, we got a lot of stuff to do on the way back, so station. We really need water. We don't have much bottled water. So we need to pick up, pick up some more bottles. If you look at the map. Yeah, we got a we oh, we need a, a fusion core for the bar. I know where to get a fusion core actually. Um, but we'll tackle that next episode. All I'm going to do now, for now, is save. And we'll call it done.
So, sleep here for now. Okay, so the game says so. Right. Next episode, we're going to probably tackle because ah, I've got those. Uh, yeah. Anyway, I will see you next time, and we'll get we'll crack on then. Okay, thanks. Bye bye.